In the Ugandan capital Kampala, the rains send trash flooding into the streams. For these young people, it's an opportunity to collect plastics. It's become a popular job among locals. I pay school fees for my kids. I buy for them books, basic needs, everything, clothes. Now it helps me to buy food for my family. The U and I Foundation, a local NGO, buys each bottle for seven cents. The initiative hopes to clean up non-biodegradable waste. Single-use plastics pose a major environmental problem, they say, and that's despite government initiatives to ban products like plastic bags. In two months, these women have collected more than 25,000 plastic bottles, but they are not yet meeting the demand from buyers, and that means more opportunities for other unemployed young people to join them. The bottles are then used as building blocks for latrines, cheaper than the traditional concrete. We don't have a lot of public toilets in the area, and most of the toilets are really filled, and other toilets you have to pay in order to use it. So for us, we're building free toilets in order to save the environment and the community. Local authorities are also trying to encourage people to collect plastic waste, about 50% of which goes uncollected. So they've partnered with beverage companies to recycle plastic waste. I believe that when people know that they're going to earn money from this, it's going to improve. It may not address our waste problem 100%. In the future, authorities aim to lower use of single-use plastics. Until then, they hope to create jobs for locals in the recycling industry. But as Uganda goes green, it may have to think about sustainability for its workforce. Hilara Yesiga, TRT World, Kampala.